Scientists at CERN have just achieved the breakthrough that physics has been waiting for for decades. A groundbreaking discovery could finally explain why we exist at all and why the universe didn't simply vanish a few seconds after the Big Bang. Let's take a closer look at exactly what happened and why this discovery is set to revolutionize particle physics. Make sure you stay tuned until the end. Today, we're bringing you a full-blown identity crisis in physics. A very warm welcome, everyone. It's a wonderful day to be thankful that we're not being annihilated by antimatter. To celebrate, let's subscribe to the channel. It's free, you'll never miss a video, and you'll be helping me out a lot. And if you've already subscribed, you can set the antimatter in motion with a thumbs up. Every like really helps the video. Now, just imagine the following scenario. You're baking a pizza and you add exactly equal amounts of flour and antiflour to the dough. What would happen? Exactly. A massive explosion and the pizza would be gone. The lovely pizza. A dreadful thought. That's exactly what should have happened to our universe as well. Because according to everything we know about the laws of physics, the Big Bang should have produced exactly equal amounts of matter and antimatter. And when matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other, leaving behind nothing but pure energy. That means, strictly speaking, we shouldn't even exist. The entire universe should have destroyed itself just moments after it came into being. Instead, when we look up at the sky today, we see billions of galaxies, stars, and planets, all made of matter. Where did all the antimatter go? This is one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of cosmology and is referred to by physicists as the matter-antimatter asymmetry. Before you continue watching the video, write your best ideas in the comments below. Why does something exist despite this? How can this asymmetry be explained? I'm very excited to hear your wild theories. Researchers at CERN have proven for the first time a fundamental difference in the behavior of matter and antimatter in a very specific type of particle, the baryons. And behind this may lie the answer to the question of all questions. Why does the universe exist at all? Why do we exist? Why does pizza exist? Pizza, the key to all questions in physics. To understand exactly what happened, we need to take a brief journey into the bizarre world of elementary particles. Everything we see, from the smallest grain of sand to the largest galaxy, is made up of so-called baryons. These are particles composed of three quarks. The best-known baryons are protons and neutrons, the building blocks of atomic nuclei. If physicists were to find a difference in the behavior of baryons and their antimatter counterparts, they might hold the key to the greatest mystery of the universe. And that is exactly what has now happened. The LHCb experiment at CERN, a special detector designed to detect tiny differences between matter and antimatter, has discovered something extraordinary. The researchers examined over 80,000 particle decays of so-called lambda beauty baryons and their antimatter counterparts. These exotic particles exist only for a fraction of a second before decaying into other particles. What came out of it was sensational. The matter baryons decay in a slightly different pattern than their antimatter twins. The difference is tiny, just 2.5%, but statistically significant. The probability of this being a coincidence is only 1 in 10 million. In science, this is called a 5.2 sigma discovery, which is virtually the gold standard for a genuine scientific revolution. But why is this so incredibly important? This tiny difference in decay behavior suggests that the fundamental laws of physics actually treat matter and antimatter differently. Physicists call this a violation of CP symmetry, where C stands for charge and P for parity. Simply put, the universe apparently has a hidden preference for normal matter embedded in its most fundamental code. What's fascinating is that such CP violations had already been discovered before, but only in another type of particle, the mesons. Scientists have been searching for such effects in baryons, the building blocks of normal matter, for 60 years. Now they have finally found it. Zhui Tingyang, one of the lead authors of the study, explains it this way. It shows that the subtle differences between matter and antimatter exist in a much broader spectrum of particles. This suggests that the fundamental laws of physics treat baryons and antibaryons differently. But before you all go and order yourselves an XXL pizza to celebrate, hopefully without pineapple, here comes the catch. Even these new discoveries are still not enough to completely solve the matter-antimatter mystery. The differences measured are significant, but still too small to explain why virtually all of the antimatter in the universe has disappeared. 
This means that there must be another, as yet unknown physics out there, new particles or forces that go beyond our current standard model of particle physics. Zhu Tingyang says, This strongly suggests that there must be new physics beyond the standard model that provides additional sources of CP violations. Investigating CP violations in different systems, including baryons, is an important test of the standard model and could provide clues to new physics beyond it. Think of the standard model as a kind of instruction manual for the universe. It explains pretty well how most particles and forces work. But when it comes to the matter-antimatter question, it reaches its limits. One page is missing from the instruction manual, and the new discovery is like a scrap of that lost page, making it incredibly valuable. That, of course, makes things even more exciting. The researchers have now opened a new window through which they can search for this mysterious new physics. With the huge amounts of data that the LHC will collect in the coming years, further groundbreaking discoveries could follow. Incidentally, it's impressive when you consider the technical feat behind this discovery. The Large Hadron Collider accelerates protons to 99.999991% of the speed of light and then collides them. These collisions create exotic particles for tiny fractions of a second, which the researchers then examine. What does all this mean for us? First of all, we can count ourselves lucky that we exist at all. The fact that you can watch this video with a tasty slice of pizza in your hand is the result of an incredibly unlikely cosmic chain of events. A mechanism ensured that after the Big Bang, a tiny surplus of matter remained, and from this tiny surplus, all the stars, planets, and ultimately we ourselves came into being. So, each of you is a little cosmic miracle. And the new CERN discovery brings us a crucial step closer to understanding this mechanism. Even though many questions remain unanswered, physicists now have an important new clue as to where to look for answers. What happens next? Xu Yang puts it this way. Physicists are searching for new sources of CP violations beyond what the standard model of particle physics predicts. The discovery of such sources could lead to a new physics. I'll keep you updated on all further developments at CERN. So make sure to subscribe to the channel now and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Maybe we'll hit 5,000 likes, that would make me happy. And speaking of cosmic discoveries... Did you know that astronomers recently discovered that we are in the middle of a gigantic cosmic void? This discovery could completely turn our understanding of cosmology upside down. In my next video, I'll explain what this mysterious void is all about and why this discovery could be at least as revolutionary as the new findings from CERN. Click the video at top right. It's really exciting. And as always, you'll find another exciting topic from science and space in the lower right corner. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.